Time in Japan tonight, the investigation into the assassination of Prime Minister Shinzo Abe as that nation mourns his death. The images tonight of Hearst carrying Abe's coffin arriving at a temple there in Tokyo. People lining up and filing by to pay their respects. Among them, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Ambassador Rahm Emanuel offering condolences on behalf of the U.S. Tonight here, what investigators are now learning about the suspect and what he allegedly did the day before the assassination. ABC's Bob Woodruff from Tokyo. Tonight, we're learning more about the possible motive in the shocking assassination of the former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Police say 41-year-old Tetsuya Yamagami, a former member of the Japanese Navy, confessed to killing Abe during a campaign event Friday and that he planned the attack for about a year and reportedly had planned to use an explosive. But in order to target only Abe instead of a large group, he decided to use a gun instead. Japanese media also reporting that the gunman allegedly decided to attack Abe after watching a video message Abe sent to his mother's church, which the gunman blamed for her financial ruin. That church, a controversial group called the Unification Church, known in the U.S. as the Moonies, named after their founder, Sun Myung Moon. But the Unification Church said there is no record of asking the suspect's mother for large donations. Authorities also acknowledge security failures and are investigating how the gunman was able to get so close to Abe, allegedly firing two shots from a homemade gun seen here, two barrels bound together with black tape. The suspect reportedly telling police he learned how to build guns from videos posted online. And Bob Woodruff reporting in tonight from Tokyo. Bob, I know you're learning more about the suspect's alleged planning leading up to this attack, including what authorities believe he did the day before. Yeah, there's two big new pieces of information, David. The local media actually reports that the suspects allegedly test-fired his homemade guns in the mountains and uh, actually attended another Abe campaign event the day before the assassination. David. All right, Bob Woodruff reporting in from Tokyo. Bob, thank you.